Uh, hi, so this is gonna be maybe a little bit of like a word vomit kind of video, so I wanted to just kind of preface. Um, hey, real quick, can you just focus for a second? Like, honestly, I feel a little disrespected that you're kind of focusing on Bataro. Oh my god, stop focusing on Bataro. Literally, right here. I know he's hot. We just gotta give it up. Okay, now that we've centered in, I wanna continue. This is gonna be a little bit of like a word vomit kind of video. Um, because I've been thinking a lot. And hopefully this will maybe help people who are in a similar situation. And that situation is feeling stuck in uh, your life. <laughs> I think uh, one of the things that I've been walking through recently is, well, I've been journaling and when you journal yeah, and actually write down how you're doing and then you actually like can have the ability to look back at where you were at certain other periods of your life, you get a little bit more of a holistic view of your life and it's taught me a few things just in the last maybe year of observation of where I am at currently and where I was a few years ago. What I mean by that, and I'll give the example that actually brought this on, um, I was listening to some of my old music. I was doing it for a video uh, about um, listening to my releases over the last three or four years and kind of commentating on them, and I came across this thought process while I was listening to some of that music of Man, a lot of that stuff is like really, not just, sad is not the word, um, but it's really like self-deprecating or depressive and anxious focused, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I, I'm a full believer in the reality of being able to speak truthfully through your art and through the things that you make. I think that led into me actually not just highlighting those areas of my life but actually like using them as an excuse using them as a way to keep me kind of tethered to the feelings of depressive tendencies and anxiety anxiety based tendencies and i was looking at specifically this song that i wrote which i really i enjoy and and despite where i'm at in my life currently and looking back at those lyrics and being saddened by them i love the lyrics of the song uh, the wounds we want. I'm gonna play a little bit of it real quick. Maybe time doesn't heal the wounds we want. So the song is kind of based out of that line where I say maybe time doesn't heal the wounds that we want and it was multifaceted uh, in the moment that I was writing it. You know that saying where it's like time can heal all wounds or whatever and the reality is no it can't. <laughs> time can heal some wounds and I'm very grateful that it can. There are also some wounds that you can't just expect to disappear without like a concerted effort to dissipate them. And I learned that over the last year and a half where I looked back at those years and said, time doesn't heal the wounds we want, but I'm not gonna try and make this overly spiritual, but like, but Jesus does heal the wounds that time can't heal. And I have been looking at my life really recently and saying, well, what changed? Because I have never felt more physically healthy in the last like decade. I've never felt more um, emotionally grounded, mentally stable, and honestly, spiritually grounded to the place where I, I actually trust the Lord. And I, and I can see his movement in my life in a way where I was not just focused on the fact that I can't hear him in previous years of my life, but also using that as an excuse to, to hang on and cling to depression and anxiety and feel victimized by it and be okay with feeling victimized by it. So, so I just began to ask myself, you know, what changed? I look back at those journal entries of me writing these things and, and, and me now feeling very whole for the first time in like five years, six years, maybe even longer than that. And I realized that the Lord has been slowly but surely impressing on my life that the reality of Psalm 27, where it says, there is just one thing. There's one thing that I want. It's David writing. Um, he says all these things beforehand about all the issues that are happening in his life, whether it's physical enemies or like emotional turmoil or any of these things, an army encamps against me. I don't have an army encamping against me, but he lists all these things and he says, 
in spite of that, there is one thing that I desire. There's one thing that I will seek after, that I will dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and inquire in his temple or ask him questions and just like consult him. And I realize that the Lord has been ingraining that in me. And that has been the difference in my life. Time doesn't heal the wounds we want, but Jesus can. And he has, he has actually like healed me from wounds. And I've been saying this a lot recently uh, because it's been a recent revelation to me. Like the Lord can heal and fill every single void in your heart. And it has shown up in my writing, in the way I write. I write songs that are about loving the Lord and wishing I could love him more and realizing my own lack of love and not being saddened by it, but like letting it drive me to love him more. And, and I am so grateful to him. But the reality is that you can't judge your life by the every day, by the day to day. It's so hard to see growth by that. I've decided that I'm gonna start judging my life based on years, like decades. I look at 17 year old Jeremy, I'm 27 now, and I say, you know, that kid didn't have any direction in his life, didn't know where he was going, but 27 year old Jeremy has a vision for the future, has a vision for whenever he has a family and a wife someday, he has a vision for all that. And not just a vision from a physical perspective of where am I gonna live, what am I gonna do, what's my job gonna be, but actually like, I know how I wanna lead others now. And also I just view the Lord differently. He is so much better at leading than I am at following him. And that's the biggest takeaway from all of this is he, uh, he knows what he's doing. He just does. And he's better at this than we are. And so I'm just choosing to trust him. I hope that encourages you guys a little bit. If you're in a similar place, also, if I can pray for any of you, like please leave a comment and i will and i'll talk to you and and we can talk about this and because i want to i want to be involved with uh, y'all guys i love you all thank you so much for listening to this word vomit i'll talk to you guys later